Okay, so this is the demo of the Rhodes debugger. You can set your Rhodes application here. Once your application has been set, you click the launch button, which will then build and launch your Rhodes application. We can see here now our application has been loaded. We can use our file browser to browse through our application. So now the iPhone simulator has launched and we can start our Rhodes application. And we see that the debugger has now connected to our Rhodes app. We can now go in our browser and select the controller and we'll go ahead and set a breakpoint here. Now that we have selected our action we can see the breakpoint has been hit. We can now run Ruby commands and see the code in action. Once we're done debugging, we can hit continue and see that our view has rendered. We can now go back here and change our code. We can call this foo7 and now save. and we will click launch again and it will now rebuild and relaunch our application so now we can go ahead and select the roads in our iPhone simulator and the application is relaunched we can now reset a breakpoint see that we have stopped at the breakpoint. Now we can actually change our instance variables on the fly. Say continue and see that our view has been rendered with our changed code. And that is the Rhodes debugger.